Now we're going to look at using long multiplication for multiplying two digit numbers. So in this example we are going to do 18 multiplied by 3. As ever I'm going to put my numbers into columns according to their place value. So I've got the 8 and the 3 in the units column and the 1s in the tens column. So I'm going to multiply 18 by 13. To begin with I'm going to multiply all of the top numbers by the bottom unit, so by this 3. So I'm going to start by doing 8 times 3, which equals 24. I've written 24 like that. And now I'm going to do 1 multiplied by 3, which is 3, plus the 2, which equals 5. So my first part is 54. I now need to multiply by this 1, by the 10. So I'm going to do 18 times 10. I'm going to do this in a new row. So to indicate that I am timesing by 10, I need to put a zero there to show that everything I'm multiplying here is actually timesing it by 10. So I'm going to start by doing 8 times 1, which equals 8. I'm going to ignore this 2 because I've already used it. And then I'm going to do 1 times 1, which is 1. So I now have my second part of the answer. The final stage is to use column addition to add up your two answers. So to add 54 and 180. So I'm going to do 4 add 0 equals 4. 5 add 8 equals 13. I haven't included that 2 because that was part of my calculation up here. And then 1 add 1 which equals 2. So my answer to 18 times 13 is 234.